Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you the top 10 best family anime. These shows are about families, the things that pull us apart, and the things that bring us together. If you enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let's get right into it. <laughs> At number 10, we have Hanasaku Aroha, Blossoms for Tomorrow. Ohana Matsume is an energetic and wild teenager residing in Tokyo with her carefree single mother. Abruptly, her mother decides to run away with her new boyfriend from Debt Collectors, forcing the young girl to fend for herself. As per her mother's rely only on yourself philosophy, in rural Japan, where her cold grandmother runs a small inn. Driven to adapt to the tranquil lifestyle of the countryside, Ohana experiences and deals with the challenges of working as a maid, as well as meeting and making friends with enthralling people at her new school and the inn. Uh, why are you so Number nine, we have Kaio Sujiga. Long ago, there was a monk named Miyoe who could bring anything he drew to life. He quietly lived with his wife Koto, a black rabbit in human form, and their three children, Yakushimaru, Kurama, and Yase. One day, the high priest of the land concluded that Mioe's drawings caused too many problems for the locals and ordered him to find a solution. In response, the family secretly fled to an alternate world of Mioe's own creation, the Looking Glass City. <laughs> At number 8, we have Eccentric Family. Kyoto has been populated by groups of Tanuki and Tengu for years, living alongside humans who are oblivious to the existence of these creatures. Yasaburo Shimagamo is the third son of an influential Tanuki family who spends his carefree days taking care of an old Tengu, observing humans through his ability to shapeshift, and dealing with the mysterious woman named Benten. Behind the peace and tranquility, however, is a painful memory from long ago as Yasaburo's father, head of the Tanuki community, was killed and eaten by a group of humans known as the Friday Fellows. <laughs> At number 7, we have Nosimo no Gatari. Surviving a vampire attack, meeting several girls plagued by supernatural entities, and just trying to get through life are some of the things high school student Koyomi Araragi has had to deal with lately. On top of all of this, he wakes up one morning to find himself kidnapped and tied up by his girlfriend Hitagi Senjohara. Having run afoul of Deshu Kaeki, a swindler who conned Senju Gohara's family, she has taken it upon herself to imprison Araragi to keep him safe from the con man. But when Araragi gets a frantic message from his sister Karen, he learns that the fraud has set his sights on her. <laughs> At number 6, we have Engaged to the Unidentified. Just an ordinary teenager, Kobini Yonomori receives quite the surprise on her 16th birthday. 
a fiance and a sister-in-law she never even knew she had. As a result of an arrangement that her late grandfather made, Hakuya Mitsumine and his younger sister Mashiro have moved from their countryside home to the Yonamori household in order to deepen their relationship with their new family members. Mika Kunin de Shinkuke follows Kubini's love life with Hakuya as she tries her best to adjust to the abrupt changes forced upon her. However, as some extraordinary secrets regarding the siblings come to light, Kubini will find her life changed forever. Ereho. At number 5, we have Eureka 7. In the backwater town of Belforest lives a 14-year-old boy named Renton Thurston. He desires to leave his home behind and join the mercenary group known as Gecko State, hoping to find some adventure to brighten up his mundane life. However, stuck between his grandfather's insistence to become a mechanic like him and the pressure of his deceased father's legacy, the only excitement Renton finds is his pastime of riding the Trapar wave particles that are dispersed throughout the air, an activity akin to surfing. <laughs> At number four, we have Listen to Me Girls, I Am Your Father. Yuta Sagawa has just started his freshman year of university. One day, his sister Yuri, who raised him after their parents died, asks him to take care of her daughters Hina, Sora, and Miyu while she and her husband go overseas on a business trip. Yuta grudgingly accepts, but tragedy strikes when their plane goes missing and all passengers are presumed dead. In an effort to prevent the three girls from being split up, Yuta goes against their family and takes them in, just as his sister took him in when he had no one else. あれを知られてしまったからに私はもう生きていけない。死ぬしかない。だったら俺を殺そうとすな。死にたくないから殺すしかないの。さもなくば記憶を全部なくせ。無理だ。大丈夫。こいつで脳天ぶっ叩けば
he meets a mysterious young girl named Ren, who, to Daikichi's astonishment, is his grandfather's illegitimate daughter. The shy and unapproachable girl is deemed an embarrassment to the family. Anne finds herself ostracized by her father's relatives, all of them refusing to take care of her in the wake of his death. That's it for the list. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, check out my other videos. Bye!